Uh, hello, everybody. So today we are going to <clears throat> talk about the EDA. Uh, EDA is nothing but your exploratory data analysis. So over here, we are going to understand the exploratory data analysis, why it is important, and we will we'll understand the importance of exploratory data analysis. And uh, before that, we'll also understand the, the concept of the machine learning, why it is important, and what are the different packages are required for the exploratory data analysis. So meanwhile, I'll I'll kind of, I have downloaded a data set called the FIFA data set from the Kaggle. And after that, I'll try to, uh, like this data set, I'll just give a brief introduction about the data set. This data set has a kind of 80 columns, and then it has a kind of an 18, uh, there are all other few columns which has been deleted. And uh, so I'll I'll show you what are the importance of expert data analysis, uh, what are the different steps I had involved in expert data analysis, and uh, we'll also understand how to load the data in the Python and uh, like to spin off and what are the different steps to perform. Uh, so I'll start with all these things. And uh, so uh, before we go ahead and start it, uh, so uh, there are a few things I would like to investigate over here. First of all, we'll understand the structure of the numerical features and non-numerical features, and then we'll understand the how the numerical features has been given, uh, like introduced and what are the, uh, how to take care of the duplicates. And there are a few important libraries like Missingo and all. So those libraries has to be imported. I'll show you how to import those libraries and all. And use of the matplotlib, that is also another important. And then uh, like finding, uh, the, doing a kind of matrix as well. So let me quickly share my screen and sp spin up the Jupyter Notebook. Okay. Hmm. So this is a Jupyter notebook. Now over here, what I'll do is that I'll try to load the data from my, uh, uh, let me one, do Yeah, let me share my screen. Okay, there was a problem, so I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. I believe the screen is visible. So let me now um, load the data and then try to. Uh, I'll also share the code, uh, the local repository. Mm. Give me a second. Uh, I'll show you the what the data data is loaded. Uh, this is the place where I have loaded the data. So this is the data, uh, the carrier model data set. This is the data set. Okay, so we'll do our kind of analysis with this data. All right, let me quickly uh, load the data. Um, okay, so before we, we load the data, what we'll do is that we'll try to import few libraries. Like, let me import the libraries first. Import. XPD. I'm importing the pandas and numpy, and then I'm trying to import the uh, C1 as well. I'm importing matplotlib as well. And then I'm trying to load the data. Uh, so, I'll name as uh, uh, DF, uh, the name of my data set is DF. Now, PD uh, dot, uh, this is a complete input Excel file. So I'll Excel and uh, let me, <clears throat> my data is loaded in my local path. So I'll give the path as uh, users as name of my computer. I 
put this in the data and then I think let me let me just check the path once again. I do not want to kind of you know data FIFA. Okay, it's fine. It's carrier more player data set. Let me copy it from here and then yeah. I think it's fine enough. So let me run this and see if it's able to. Okay, I forgot to name the uh, file format here. So, so as it's an Excel format, so let me run now. Yeah, this is successful. So if it's successful now, what will I do is that I'll try to find out uh, the, the column names and all. So so for this, I'll write a simple call, a uh, simple statement. these are all the columns name okay now i need to understand the kind of i'll try to visualize uh like what is the relationship between the kind of uh work rate and the kind of league rank and all so there's a, uh, a league rank and weight uh is there so i'll try to find out how they're connected with each other so on the relationship between the work rate and so I'm trying to find out the work rate and wage relationship by the league rank. So let me plot that uh, plot this graph. I'm defining the figure size as well. And this would be a scatter plot. Let me define the axis as well. I have to define my X. Which is the walk rate. I'm defining the Y as well. So my Y would be um, wage underscore euro. This is nothing but that's your wage. Then my data, uh, let me define the U as well. Okay.
Uh, I'm defining the palette, which would be kind of, you can define your palette. It's a good, good thing to do. Mm, green. Let me define. Red and coral and blue. So that is my the legend gonna be full. And my alpha gonna be 0 0.4. That's all about. <coughs> Let me run this. Okay, so X should be small. Valid syntax, let me check. Mm, let me see. This man is a data in it. The following is going to be a data in it. Okay. There's a fuse upon the ground. Okay. Let me solve this out.
All right, so there was a minor problem and then we got this plot. Okay, so this plot, what it shows is that it shows the, um, your, uh, this plot, you know, this plot shows relationship between the work rate and the wage by the league rank. Now, what I'm trying to do over here is that I'm trying to kind of get the kind of uh, the analysis on the wage uh, between the rank rate, uh, work rate and the wage by the league rank. So over here, you can see the link, uh, how it has been defined. So my second step over here, it would be, I'll try to find out the uh, uh, nationality. Now, what I'll do is that I'll try to kind of get the, uh, how many nationality players are there in this data set? You know, we'll try to find out the nationality column. It will be interesting to see how some, the analysis are done on the nationalities, like how many national nationalities players are there in the data set. So let me write the, our simple uh, uh, program here, simple query here. Uh, the query would be, uh, let me try and uh, uh, let me do it with nationality and then find out the dot unique. Yes, let me see the number. Yeah, it's 149. Okay. Now, what I'll try to do is that I'll try to find out the nationalities, which will, uh, the, the, the kind of uh, word of cloud of nationalities that will help us to understand which nationalities are they dominating. Like for doing that, we need to join the nationalities and then make a kind of a word cloud. So word cloud is nothing but, you know, we'll try to, what cloud of nationalities will help us to understand like, which, which nationalities are dominant, dominating and we need to join all the nationalities. So let me write out the simple query. Um, yeah. Um, uh, nationality um, equal to I'm writing a joint statement N for N N B F nationality okay so let me run this program okay so now this is done so now i'll try to create the uh, word cloud so let me import the library word cloud import cloud okay this should be in caps I'm defining the figure size as maybe a 10, 10 would be fine. But 10, 8 is okay. My word cloud would be like this and then I'll try to generate the word cloud. Um, Nationality. I'll try to plot. Interpolation method. My interpolation method would be bilinear. Linear, L I N E R, linear, sorry, by linear, okay. Um, next, I'll define which axis is going to take VDF. Plot dot show, yeah. So let me run this.
Mm, there is a problem. Let me fix the problem. In the figure size. Spelling of the interpolation was wrong. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is your word count which you got. Now let us find out the nationality value. Okay, nationality count. So national and discount count BF. I got the nationality count. Now what I'll do is that I'll try to kind of a, uh, the soccer player. Uh, there are many soccer players which have a kind of a certain active time frame in their lives. The distribution of the age you have to define. So uh, the the uh, what I've done is that we have kind of more players from the England. We can see that uh, France, Germany, Spain, Italy, Netherlands, and so on. So I was trying to create the top twenty nationalities. So that's the reason I did this one. Top twenty nationalities. Now, uh, the now I'll try to I have used the value underscore counts function of the pandas library to get the value of the counts of all the nationalities, and I took the top twenty to find the top twenty. The pandas value underscore count function automatically sort the values. That was one of the thing. Now the soccer players they have a kind of certain time frame in their find. So I have to find out the distribution of the age. So let me find out the distribution of the age. What I'll do is that I'll try to write the simple program DEF. Um, I'll try to create a histogram. Okay. So let me create a histogram and then let me plot the title. Distribution of age of the players. Okay. So let me plot this. Okay, so distribution of the age of the uh, yeah, so this is done. So my next step, I would try to uh, have done the distribution of the age of the players, distribution of the age of the players, and that is done. Now what I'll try to do is that 
I'll try to find out, like to check if the distribution matches or the distribution of the wage of the top nationalities, leagues and the club based on the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the first uh, data frame. I would try to make a data frame of the nationalities, clubs and the league. So I would try to do that. So before that, it uh, would be a bit difficult for me to write the code. So, you know, I'll, I'll write the code over here and uh, so I'll try to match the top 10 distribution and all those things. I'll try to match all those things. So let me let me write the query. No. So let me define that. So nationality becomes NAT and then yeah. I'm trying to define the nationality, uh, which is in uh, top 20. So my top 20 net, sorry, my top 20 underscore net. Then club count, let me find out the club count as well. Find the club name. Value dot com top twenty club. Net let find out the top twenty club. Top underscore twenty underscore club. Not in next. Okay, so the club name club is in, and then I have to define the top 20. Top underscore 20 underscore club. Okay, so this is done. Now, what I'll do is that I'll find out the league count. So let me go ahead and define the league count. Uh, league underscore count. Define the data frame. Yes. The underscore name, okay. And to find out the value, value dot pounds, okay. Next, I'll find the top twenty league. Top underscore twenty underscore leagues. Define the value as. League underscore pound the top twenty means I define the index dot index function dot index function and then I'll define the data from df data from df underscore league equal to df. Uh, let me write it down the df dot league. And let's go league dot name uh, league dot name okay league dot name league underscore name sorry what is in uh, 
top 20 underscore lead. All right, so let me run this program. So value underscore count underscore count. All right. Now I want to kind of put the distribution of the edges in the same plot to compare the distribution of the uh, properly to compare the entire distribution properly. So what I'll do is that I will, if I have to explain you this, I'll explain you in this way. I want to put the entire distribution of the uh, edges in the same plot to compare the distribution. So entire distribution has to be in the same plot to compare the uh, the entire thing. So what I'll do here. Let me write the query. Uh, so ed dot data frame we like to find out the nationality and define the nation sorry define the nationality define the nationality is a bdf underscore nationality comma comma club let me write the club BF underscore clubs. Yeah. Um, now let me take the league now. I'm taking the league now. And the league would be BF underscore league. Negative age. Okay, so this is done. So it will be a kind of a histogram. So let me write the history now. It will be a histogram and I'll define the bin size as well. So bins uh, would be let me take 15 as a bin. Okay. And uh, what else? And uh, define the figure size as well. Fix size. Uh, let me take it as a Ten eight size, okay. Uh, grid. I don't want any grid, so my grid has to be false. Grid would be false. Grid is false, and then my. Let me define my width as well. Width would be, let me take as a one. Or if I have to be precise, I'll take it as a 0 0.9. I don't want to. And then a share X would be uh, my true. So here, I don't need to define false in the inverted comma. My share should be true, and then my share y is also true. So let me run this. This is not required.
I'm trying to show, show this plot now. Let me see what else I get. Okay, I made a spelling mistake over here. Frame would be, sorry, it's a typo error. All right, the frame, okay. So this is a problem. You have to define my data frame and data D A T F E R F A M E. I hope it should write work now. Oh, there is a minor problem here. Let me, let me find it, find it out where the problem is. Yeah, I hope now it is fine. There was some problem with this uh, spelling and all. So I'm writing the code all by myself. So there are minor mistakes. So I'll just pardon me. Yeah, so yeah. So we have got this one. So this just define the age about the league, about the uh, kind of nationality and the club. Okay. Now what I'll do is that I'll try to find out a plot. I'll try to give, uh, create a plot which gives a point estimation of the wage for each nationality. Uh, and try. I'll try to use the top 20 nationalities data frame, which we created. Okay. And so let me write down the code again. So it will take some time, guys. So I'm writing it all by myself. So that's the reason it's taking some time. So just uh, be with me. Yeah. Okay. So let me quickly write down this. Uh, create another plot. And the name of the plot would be cat plot. And um, I'll define x equal to. nationality my y let me take a small x and my y equal to wage And my U
I'm defining my font size as well, which is I would say 10. And just to make sure, let me take the point of the of wages. All right, so there is a problem over here with the front size. So let me check what is the problem. Nationality, front size, again, nationality, front size, 12 wage. Zero. Okay, okay, I, I missed one on. There is one problem over here, let me. All right, so there is one small problem over here. We have to uh, take this, paste it here. Write it Y label. Uh, I have to write the wedge. Uh, yeah, wedge. Yeah, yeah. This column needs to be even. Let me run now. Problem now. There's no such property, okay.
Okay, it will be font size, not front size. So that's the reason I'm getting this error. Yeah, so this is what I got, yeah. All right, so as it's done, now let's see the top 20 nationality player, nationality players wages at the club level. So let me let me again plot at the club level. All right. So you know, so at the club level, let me let me plot plot. Let me define the figure. Uh, I'm defining the figure size as um, let me define the resolution and DPI as well.
It's three o'clock. This for nationalities and you know, in the club, you can try it. Okay. No club level. Next, let me show. All right, so this is almost done. Now we can see from this uh, from this uh, uh, group that uh, few nationalities in this club, like the point estimation of the plot, uh, Brazil is as the top. You know, you can see the Brazil is at the top. You know, over here. Now uh, this the next plot will show the national position by the national reputation. I'll try to show you another combined plot here that show the mean wages for the notion position and all. So I'll show you all those things. Uh, I'll, I'll also try to show you the nation position where the data type will be integer. I'll also try to show you that. And uh, yeah. So let, let's try to write a function that makes a dictionary where the keys will be value of the nation position column and the value will be a unique integer. Okay. So let me write another uh, uh, syntax. All right, so I'm writing the program, simple program, which will, uh, which is a function, which where a dictionary will be, uh, the keys will be value of the nation position. So let me write down for i in column dot unique function. That's a unique function. Six. Define of dictionary. Um, Okay, now we'll try to make a new column, uh, which is, which will be named as a kind of a nation position one, but the data type will be all integers. Okay, so let's let's do that. Yeah, uh, let's uh, name a new underscore nation underscore position. Okay, let's now kind of create a new.
All right, so we're trying to replace this one. Let me try, let me run this program now. Let me see, okay, it's successful. All right, so let me plot this figure now. Uh, define the figure size. I know guys, it's taking some longer time because, but this is a very uh, unique uh, EDA which I'm trying to do. So just bear with me for some time and uh, hopefully we'll be completing in this soon. Uh, let me define the grid as well. I'll use the grid spec as four by four. Let me define the white space as well, 0.3 and All right, so H space would be 0 0.8. Let me make it. All right, let me run this. Now, let me define my... Now, let me set the distribution now. Define the font size as twelve. Yes, and as dot KD. I'm I'm doing a kernel KDE plot. That is kernel estimation, then uh, density estimation plot. And um, I'm using the x as a value.
copy the code here and then paste it. What uh, figure says 15 10? Okay. I'm going to cast card to plot 15.
So guys, this is the violin plot, which I have plotted here. Uh, there is a one more relationship which I can do is a relationship between the body type and the shooting. So let me do that. Hmm. So let me quickly write down this program.
Now, I will create a kind of a relationship between the nation position and the mentality aggression. So that's the another plot. And then with this plot, we'll end this session. Let me quickly, uh, uh, or the similar kind of, you know, I have done a similar kind of project over here. So let me just pull it out and just show it to you uh, instead of writing the entire code. Um, yeah, so this is the entire my GitHub project. So what I'll do is that I'll quickly copy the code from here and paste it instead of writing the each code separately. Uh, it will be very easy then. Let me quickly run this code. No? So there is a problem over here with this code. You know, it says that for example, hmm, hmm. Yeah, so this should be the, exactly the same kind of code which I'm writing over here. Let me write it, write the code separately individually so that. Okay, so before we go into the LM plot, let me write the code for the LM plot. You know, there is a specifically uh, code has to be written for the LM, LM plot. 
Yeah, let me write the write, write the code for you. What I am trying to do is that we are trying to kind of explore the nation position as much and then, then trying to integrate the feature called mentality aggression. We'll see the relationship between them and include the league rank as a U, okay, parameter. Before that, we need to convert the nation position to a numeric value. And I'm trying to make the dictionary function mentioned before to create a dictionary and eventually create a new column named the nation position one, replacing the original string value with the integers. That's what I'm trying to do over here. Let me write down this, uh, run this program. It says invalid index in uh, syntax. Okay, okay, okay. That underscore dictionary. Okay, make dictionary, make underscore dictionary. DF, 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 position, DF, DF, position. DF, DF, position one. DF, DF, position one. Okay.
okay guys we'll try to uh, this is my repository guys you can see all the codes over here i'll try to uh, uh, kind of get into this i'll try to see why it is not been able to uh, solve it like there is a code i have written over here so So this will be able to replace this one, but I don't know why it is not able to do it, but however, it should be fine. Okay, this is a code generally, it should be able to write it here. There's some problem over here, I don't know, but it should be able to find out. So that's it. So in the next video, we'll do the kind of hypothesis testing. We'll do the kind of, we'll understand the 17 statistical hypothesis. We'll learn all those things in the next uh, video. Okay, so that's all for today.